What is up, YouTube, and my fellow subscribers, of course. <laughs> it's Avery R32 here, um, and I am back, um, talking better than ever. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that was, uh, that, that was a, a nice little needed vacation from YouTube, I guess. I did miss it, though. I really did. I missed you guys. I did not like being out. Uh, that surgery, uh, that, that surgery was, was really, really annoying. Um... <laughs> But I'm doing great now, you guys. I feel great. Um, I had my checkup today uh, because it's one week today that I had my mouth surgery. Um, if you guys watched the announcement video uh, where I had some Call of Duty gameplay in the background, you'll know because it it's just from me having a camera in front of my TV. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, the surgery went well. It went great. Uh, I got both my wisdom teeth removed, and then I had four extra ones removed, so they had to go through the palate. So, um <laughs> Yeah, that that was a lot of fun. I was out. I barely remember anything. Uh, the first day was was really tough, and every day's been better. My mouth is still a little bit sore. Uh, I can feel on like the left side of my mouth. I can feel where like they tied this. I guess like they tied the sutures or something. Uh, but my doctor said I'm feeling great. He said that I'm, I've recovered really fast. He said by this upcoming weekend, I will have forgotten the sutures are even there because I can still kind of feel them in my mouth. But um, I'm talking great. It's kind of hard to open up my mouth, but I'm eating again. I started eating again on Thursday. I started having some real solid food, um, and uh, I, you know, I, my memory is starting to come back a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm doing great. Um, thank you guys so much for you know keeping me in your prayers and all that fun stuff. Uh, you know, supporting the channel as always. I'm up to 153 subscribers. Um, hopefully, I'll get a little bit more um, increase on my channel. Um, cause I might be posting on a famous YouTuber's channel. I just sent him a message literally like five minutes ago. Um, but I will let you guys know about that in the future and, uh, I'll send you a link to that, uh, YouTube video if it goes up on that other person's YouTube channel. But, um, I just saw this video on Robbie's, uh, Robbie's channel, mcol 40 He, um, he got a deck profile with this guy and he was using, uh, Baryon, uh, Exceed Gadgets. I gotta say, this deck is extremely interesting, and it looks super, super, super cool, and if this deck doesn't get touched in any way, shape, or form for next format, this deck could definitely be a contender, because even the guy in the deck profile said, if the format would slow down, this deck would be a big contender, and I definitely see that as, um, I'm sorry, I definitely see this as a contender, um, Especially with some of the text that he had in the deck, and it's it's really really cool, really really interesting. I'll explain his card choices as I go along. Um, but to start off, it is gadgets, so you run two of each gadgets. Uh, three tin goldfish and three kage to kage. Um, most of you guys should know what these do. Uh, double summoner monk. Uh, you run the spells. You can just go monk. You know, pitch a spell. Go 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 gadget. Play a kage, or you know anything. Tin, monk, pitch a spell, gadget, kage. Like it, it opens up a lot of plays. Uh, Gentlemander. I did not know what this did. I actually had to look it up on DN while watching the deck profile to see what it did. Um, I don't know what set this comes out of, so, you know. I'm assuming, um, Tachyon, but, like I said, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, the guy just said it's a new card. Uh, but when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special on this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot attack any monsters except this one. So if I have a Summoner Monk in face-up defense, and I don't want it to be ran over, and they go, let's say they're running Fire Fist, and they go, Summon Bear, attack your Monk, and then I go, no, drop Gentlemander. Uh, it makes a replay, so they have to attack the Gentlemander, and then if you have another one in your hand, then you can drop that Gentlemander, and then it creates a lock to where you can only attack Gentlemander, but since there's two on board, then you can't attack either one of them. So, it's a really, <laughs> really nasty, funny play. It reminds me of, like, you know, having two Dupe Frogs on board, or having, you know, two Solar Flare Dragons on board, you know. it's Those are just, those are fun times. <laughs> And then a BLS, uh, because you do run darks, um, hence the Summoner Monks, Kages, uh, King of the Feral Imps, um, these are all lights, um, yeah, I think that's it, um, oh, and, uh, Maze Stroke and Black Ship. Uh, and then for the spells, Dark Hole, Monster Born, Avarice, Heavy Storm, Book of Moon, Triple Lance, Triple MST, three Rank Up Bar uh, Rank Up Magic Barians Force, and then three Rank Up Magic Limited Barians Force. Um, the difference between the two is that Limited only lets you play a rank 4 Xyz that has a, that has a number C in its name. So you can't play um, C39. Or no, I'm sorry, you can't play... I always get these mixed up. You can't play a CXYZ. So if it was CXYZ Utopia Ray Victory, you couldn't play that with Limited, but you could play that with uh, Magic Barrier's Force. Um, 
But yeah, anything with number C. So number C, you could play Utopia Ray 5. Um, Magic Baryon's Force. Uh, you target a Facebook Seize monster you control. So like Utopia. You special summon... Um, you special summon from your extra deck a number C or C X Y Z monster with the same type as that monster. You control, but one rank higher by using it as the Xyz material. The special summon is treated as an Xyz summon. Xyz materials attached to that target also become Xyz monsters on the summon monster. Then, if possible, detach an Xyz material from a monster your opponent controls and attach it to the summon monster as an Xyz material. So you get to take an Xyz material from your opponent's Draco Sack, uh, their Big Eye, a Zen Mains, uh, a Leviathan, and then it can't attack directly because they probably already detached once. Um, you know, anything like that. So, really, really good card. Uh, very interesting. Um, Solemn Duo, two calls, two Venus Chains, two Compulse. He said it is 43 cards, like you can see in the, at the very top. Um, but, uh, he said he is trying to work it down. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, maybe take out, um, a Limited and a Lance and an, and a Gentlemander. But, um, I haven't actually tested with the deck yet, like I just now built it. Uh, but those are just some changes that I guess you could make. Just because, um, uh, Baryon's Force does the exact same thing in Limited Baryon's Force in this build, because you're not using any C, X, Y, Zs, you're only using Cs. So you would want, you would much rather draw, rank up Magic Baryon's Force instead of the Limited. So, so you could always maybe take out a Limited, um, because you are using six spells that get you out, uh, four targets. So, uh, two Utopia Rays and two Utopia Ray 5. Um, so I mean, you have six cards for four C targets so to speak. Um, so, I mean, taking taking one, if not two of these out, um, probably just one, though, because uh, you want to be able to have it as soon as you can. Um, but uh, that's it for the main. Uh, I'm moving on to the side, and then I'll get to the extra deck. Uh, three Deck Devi, three Prohibition, I always pronounce that wrong, three Prohibition, three Mind Drain, three Imperial Iron Wall, one Vasky, and two Drone Lockbird. Could always take out the Vasky for a third Drone Lockbird for Prophecy. It's all, you know, player preference is set. His friend was borrowing these, so... Um, Prohibition, you always want to call effect Valor because this deck does get hurt by Valor, which really, really sucks. Uh, that's one thing that kind of turned me off from this deck. But other than that, it looks really, really cool. Um, and then Deck Devi, it's just a behemoth of a card. Like, not as good as Eradicator, but still a behemoth. <laughs> um, uh, for the extra deck, King of the Feral Imps. Uh, once returning detaching same material from this card, add a reptile type monster from your deck to your hand. So not only is it a target for Deck Devi because it's 2300, uh, but it gets you your Gentlemander, it gets you your Kage, uh, anything like that, and it's dark for BLS. Uh, two Shockmaster, uh, the guy said, depending on how nutty your hand is, you can drop two of these. Um, you could also run Vile on the Sigma if you really wanted to, but if you can drop two Shockmasters, I'd highly recommend Shockmaster. Uh, two Utopias, two Utopia Rays, two Utopia Ray Fives, he, uh, does burn, um, Target, um, when this card is in its own experience, if it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect or if it's destroyed by your opponent's battle, you can target a C monster in the graveyard, return to the extra deck, and then if it has Utopia monster as an C material, then once per turn you can detach an C material from him, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster, and then inflict damage your opponent equal to the monster's attack. So if they have see a blue eyes on board, you'd pop that, they take 3,000. Um, Emerald, Cowboy, Abyss Dweller, Mace Stroke, and Black Ship rounds off the rest of the list. And Joel Bird says goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, that is it. It feels good to be back. Um, hopefully, it'll be business as usual. Um, I'll try and post as much as I can. Um, be on the lookout for Nice Lag Switch Bro coming this Friday. Uh, should be around 4 o'clock, uh, depending if anything pops up in my schedule. Um, but I think that is it, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed and are glad that I'm back, please leave this video with a like or a favorite. I love seeing the feedback. Helps me out tremendously. Click responsibly and all that good stuff. In the words of DeSalon Enigma. <laughs> I've been watching him a lot lately for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you guys have any comments or suggestions on the deck to get it down to 40 cards. I'm really trying to figure out a way to get this deck down to 40. Really, the only changes, immediate changes that I see would be take out a limited Baryon's Force because of the simple fact that I, you would rather have the Magic Baryon's Force instead, and me personally, I'd much rather have the Magic Baryon's Force in my hand instead of the limited just because if you get this off, which you more than likely will, it can cause a lot of damage to Draco Saxon and big guys. Forbidden Lance 3 seems kind of much, but again, that's all player preference. To me, I think 2 would be fine. Um, or even take out like an MST because you know E Dragons don't use a lot of back row, and I don't think prophecies do either. But don't quote me on that. Um, 
Uh, but as far as I'm con as far as I know, prophecies and e dragons don't really use a lot of back rows. So if anything, uh, just take out you know a lance, an MST, and a limited Baryon's force. Those are just my suggestions. You know, you can test them out on your own. I know I'll be testing it. Um, and I also have a um, project Blue Eyes um, up, hopefully tomorrow. Um, uh, in case you guys don't know what that is, I'll be explaining that um, in another video. Uh, like I said, hopefully in tomorrow's video if I post one. Um, but I think that is it, you guys. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this kind of deck profile. Um, it's a very interesting um, to see this kind of build, because uh, I know that there's like a bunch of different builds. Like I called it ZW Gadgets, when it's really not ZW Gadgets. I just assumed that's what it was going to be. Um, I saw Barian's Force in the name, and I was like, oh my god. Um, or like even stuff like this is kind of like what he's... Uh, not really what he's leaning towards because you're using the ZW stuff. Um, but this is more like just straight up Barian dropping the C's. So definitely very interesting. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Um, feels good to be back. And feels good to be able to be talking again with uh, no blood in my mouth. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later, and goodbye.